Hi, welcome to the third tutorial for the live event sheets in Qt C Sound. I've got already my two sheets here and C Sound running over there in the background. The live event sheets are a useful way of prototyping ideas and of uh, editing uh, scores. The good thing is that you can uh, copy and paste directly. Of course, you could you could take the text here and just copy paste it. But sometimes it's just quicker if you take this, you copy it, and you bring it down to your score and just paste it. You can see that everything will uh, come out as you want. Um, you can also do the other way around. So you can say take these events, you can copy them, bring them over here, and paste them. So you've got uh, sort of two-way copy paste. As you can see, the things, the the items are parsed. You will you will have uh, to uh, split your comments, but uh, that's not not a big deal. Um, so uh, this makes it easy to use uh, the live events sort of as a score prototyping uh, facility. I'm going to show you now uh, the looping feature uh, for the live event sheets. You've noticed probably that there's a loop length here and there's a loop range over here. So what you do when you want to loop uh, a live event sheet is you have to define the loop range, which can be any number of, of uh, rows. So say, um, let's get rows three to 10 and you can say mark loop. As you can see, the loop range for this uh, live event sheet is now three to 10. Um, you can see also that it will be uh, light green on the first uh, four columns. So uh, if I press loop, we will hear those uh, six events and signed. And of course, after eight uh, beats, it will be repeated again. The good thing is that you can add uh, events here while uh, C sounds playing. So let's say I'm going to start in six, duration two, and play 74. Let's say I'm going to make this a sharp. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting facility to play with. To stop the loop, just click. The loop will keep on running until it finishes. So that was, that was one little thing that I left. Um, you can uh, change the length to whatever you want, whatever number of beats. And of course, each uh, individual live event sheet will have its own loop length. You can also set the loop range by clicking here. You can say start from uh, 5 up to 11. And of course, that will be reflected in the light green color on the live event sheet. I'm going to show you now uh, how to do transformations of data in the live event sheets. Let's just mark uh, this loop over here. And let's get it to loop over here. So what I'm going to do now is show you that you can quickly transform data in the live event sheet. So I'm going to select the node numbers and I'm going to add. So whatever value I put here will be added to the nodes. So let's take it an octave higher. Let's say divided by two. Multiply it again by two. And let's subtract 12 again. There we go. You can also do more complex uh, things, like for example, fill the cells. You can, um, for example, let's make the duration uh, become larger as uh, the pitch gets higher. So let's start from duration 0 0.5 to duration 2. Let's just click enter. You 
You can see that the first ones are shorter than the, the last one. You can do things like shuffle. You can see there's, there are a, a set of uh, predetermined functions. On the next tutorial, we'll see how to make your own. So I'll say shuffle them, please. And what, what that will do is uh, just move them around, like if there was a pack of cards, and how many iterations? Just give it 10. So now it's a bit like randomized, uh, the order of those durations. So there we work you the, the durations. You can also uh, randomize the values, for example, I'll randomize the node numbers. I'll say the minimum is 32 and the maximum is 60. And you have two modes. I'll use mode uh, 1 for integers and press enter. And of course, uh, we're getting a, a random sequence. Uh, so this is a short introduction into the uh, transformations for cells in Qt sound. Of course you can get any number of cells by rows, by columns, or even a, a larger group of cells. So thanks and see you in the next one.